Hello, Patreons, and uh, welcome and thank you for being there, truly. Thank you so, so much. Right, let's talk about um, cloud solutions. I have used two in the three in the past. Uh, one, it was a preparatory one that we used at City and Guild Skinio. Uh, I've used Google Docs, uh, and I'm using currently OneDrive uh, for Microsoft. Uh, advantages and disadvantages. Advantages of using the Kenya one is that it was so precise. It was tailored to exactly what we wanted to do. It also meant, though, that we needed to have our very own servers, and they had to be pretty huge because we also had version control, and sometimes we had several hundred iterations of the same project. Yes, literally. So it could be interesting because we knew exactly what we had and it was always going to work every single time, but it was by far the most complex and expensive one to set up and maintain. Then I have used for me personally Google um, Drive. It's a bit too basic. It's just a little bit too basic for me. It doesn't allow you to do an awful lot of things that I find necessary and is nowhere near as intuitive. Also, at some point I had a compatibility issue with Windows and Google Drive and it wouldn't synchronize all, all, all the folders and all the files. So I ended up missing out an awful lot because I had to do things by hand, which I didn't want to do. Currently, I use OneDrive. The good thing about OneDrive is that it is quite comprehensive because it allows you to um, decide what do you want to keep in your hard drive, what do you want to keep on the cloud, what is it that you're always going to keep local or not. Uh, you get a one terabyte storage with your Office 365 subscription, which we have. So Martin and I can use it an awful lot. We both have access to all the files and, the tr on, and all the uh, folders in that drive. So whenever, for instance, I record a video, I only have to put it in one drive and within five minutes, Martin is going to have access to it in the UK so he can start uh, editing these videos right away. Another cool thing about it is that you can create a link for something to be shared so people can either edit or just visualize things, which is very good if, say, that you want to submit a draft to somebody, but you don't want that person to make changes. Also, you can have an expiry date. So if you don't know if that person is going to be working for you for much longer, or simply if that person stops working for you, you terminate that link and that file remains safe in your hard drive. It's local, it's yours, it's for you. I think it's brilliant that way. Uh, because the folder structure can be any you like, absolutely any you like, you can create specific folders for people. Uh, you can share specific files with more than one person, and edit them in real time. So it's a very good way to make sure that you keep control of what's doing, sorry, of who is doing what without having to be sending emails with an attachment and um, then bring it back. If you want that person, for instance, like you did with Campo de Mitos, and they wanted Martin to be able to do one last proofreading based on the layout, I was able to give him access to the InDesign file so he could open it and make whatever changes directly in InDesign rather than having Word and then having to copy and paste into InDesign and make sure that everything was uh, matching perfectly. So for me, OneDrive offers everything I need in order to have everything shared, but secured at the same time. But you have to implement some system like this if you're going to be working with people, trust me, um, because otherwise you're just going to have tons of emails going around and you're going to have to be keeping everything tidy and organized yourself, whereas in the other way you just organize your folder structure, done. Everybody's going to have to put things in the same place all the time. And don't worry if you're thinking, oh, somebody's going to delete something. Don't worry about it. I'm going to talk about that and version control in the next episode. So thank you. Thank you so much for being there. It is truly and genuinely appreciated. 
Uh, and until the next time, I will be talking to you very, very soon. Take care.